Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to talk to you about a few simple points to help you have beautiful Bermuda grass a little bit later on in the year. So hold on. Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to go over some specific points and things you can do right now that'll help promote real strong Bermuda and help you have a real gorgeous thick green lawn a little bit later on in the year. Now, before I start this video, it's real important. In most of my videos, I always tell you to subs subscribe to our channels, and there's a reason for it. As an example, uh, what am I doing tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm picking up a big 27-inch core aerator, and I want to be aerating our, my lawn, and I'll probably do it my neighbor's lawn as well, too, and I want to make a video on aeration, on core aerating. But I'm also going to be doing the new liquid aeration. We're going to put that out and do a test with it. I've got a uh, soil sample kit testing. You know these things that you buy online, the sample kits, you know, in, in the lower end range? I'm going to be testing some of those and doing some reviews on those. So when I say subscribe, it's just because i got a lot of videos coming out. Click the subscribe button. Once you click subscribe, go to our channel. There's a little bell next to our subscribe, uh, subscribe button. Click it and it'll notify you when this idiot puts out a new video. Okay. So, uh, and a good example is last week I did a whole bunch of stuff on planting, on dealing with, um, if you're going to plant trees, bushes, or plants, watch those planting videos. Watch the root, watch the root videos that I did and how to plant, pro, uh, plant plants properly. It's so important. Planting in clay soils, all kinds of stuff. Anyways, let's move on. You want to know about your Bermuda grass. So one of, uh, one of my most popular videos, I think, is the Bermuda grass calendar the Bermuda grass calendar uh, video I did. And the reason why is it's simply in a, in a fairly short video, I think it's like 20 minutes or so, I outline month by month or section, sector by sector, exactly what you should be doing at that time of the year. Um, very simple, very straightforward stuff that you can, and when I do it, I don't try, I try and not use stuff that you have to order online. Uh, chemicals and stuff. I try and do it with stuff that you can just go to Lowe's or Home Depot or your local supply store and just pick up and use. Makes it simple. Okay, so this is April 24th and I'm hoping that you have already scalped your lawn if you have Bermuda grass. I did that scalp video. You need to watch the scalp video because it's really, really important that you take your lawn down low. I mean low. Uh, my lawn, I'm going to show you my lawn here in a second. My lawn is really green. I've got green everywhere around it. Again, this is April. The majority of Bermuda lawns right now in this area are pretty much brown with a little bit of green showing through. My lawn is pretty much green everywhere. So I can actually go ahead and do some core aeration early. So I'm going to do the core aeration and then I'm going to do a liquid aeration on top of it. And I'll show you some of my lawn here in a second. But what are some of the key points? Number one. One of the first things you want to do is I want you to put out a general purpose for, for fertilizer if you can find it that's in a 412 ratio. When I say 412 ratio, that means nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. That's how it works. Those are those numbers. So it's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. A 412 ratio, that's a general. If you take a plant and break apart a plant, a healthy plant, that's about the ratio you're going to find inside the healthy plant. That's what healthy soil needs and that kind of ratio to grow. But a lot of the fertilizers, I'm going to warn you that a lot of the fertilizers that are made by big manufacturers are starting to get rid of the phosphorus because certain states have started to outlaw phosphorus application. And I put a link to an article about that in my, one of my last videos, how stupid that is and why lawns do need phosphorus and they don't cause pollution. Read that article. It's in the description of one of the videos, two videos back, I think read that it's an amazing article but i put out i put out phosphorus on my lawn i put it out two or three times a year i've been doing soil testing around my lawn and guess what i'm only showing a trace of phosphorus in my lawn which means that yes your lawn actually consumes the phosphorus it actually uses it and so you need to replace it so that's what i'm saying right now this is spring uh I'm assuming you're watching this in the spring, maybe early summer. You need to get out a 412 ratio. Get it out on your lawn. So feed your lawn is number one. This is the time of year. 
spring and early summer is the time of year you can push your you want to push your lawn you want to push it really hard you want to grow as fast as you can you want to get as thick as you can it'll stop the weeds it'll stop disease it'll stop um it'll stop uh, drought it'll make it more drought resistance that's why you want to push it when you get your feet out step number two step number two which i think is really critical at this point in time is pre-emergent. If you have not put down pre-emergent or haven't done it in a while, go get some pre-emergent and put out pre-emergent. I have zero weeds in my lawn, except for a teeny little spot over here. I have a touch of Poana. I mean zero. You can walk around. I can give you a dollar. I'll give you $20 for every weed you can find in my lawn. It's a big lawn because I put down pre-emergent on a regular basis. I probably put it out four times more than they say to do it. I'm putting out pre-emergent probably every 60 to 90 days because my neighbors around me don't do great yard care and they have a lot of weeds, so that's why I have to do it. So that's a good point, especially if you have neighbors that don't take good care of their lawns, then you wanna go ahead and you wanna make sure you got lots of pre-emergent out. Remember, pre-emergent stops things from blooming, so it stops the seeds from sprouting. It needs to get down in the grass. Again, watch the calendar and I explain it. The next thing you're gonna do is post-emergent. You wanna walk around your yard. You just don't wanna spray weed killer all over your yard. You only wanna apply it. If you only have a few, apply what you need. If you have crabgrass, find something that'll work on crabgrass. If you have broadleaf weeds, then use something that'll work on broadleaf. Again, I'm gonna show you that little spot of poana over here I just used on that one spot. I just used a little um, a little herbicide that's made specifically for poana and I didn't treat my whole lawn with it. I just used it right over there. So number three, I would say is probably go ahead and put down any herbicide for any weeds that you're gonna do. Number four is probably gonna be aerate. We're getting close to the time of year. You really should, if you're going to aerate, you should probably do it, um, they say late spring, early summer, but during the strong growing season. I'll tell you when I like to do it. I like to do it as soon as my grass is starting to turn all green and while I have it short, especially after I just scalped, it's real easy for those tines to get through everything and, and, pull, up those, uh, and pull up those little plugs. So that's why I'm going to do it now. I'm going to be doing it a little bit early. But I can do it because I've got a lot of green coming up and my lawn's real healthy and so I'm going to aerate it. It needs it. If you have clay soils, if you have hard packed soils, you got to start aerating. And I'll be honest, I'm guilty. I haven't done it enough. So aeration. So the key points now are number one, a general fertilizer. 412 ratio. Put out all of your nutrients. I want you to put out nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. Even if you have to, if you watch a calendar, you learn a little trick that I do. If you can't find it, I put out a little bit of 10, 10, 10 everywhere, and then I come back with a nitrogen sprayer. That's a great little tip. It's really worked well, my lawn. It's really worked well, especially this year on my lawn. So that's number one, feed it. Number two, pre-emergent, stop the weeds from coming out. If you stop the weeds now, you don't have to worry about June, July, and August when it's dead hot, and some of those herbicides can actually impact negatively your Bermuda grass. You can probably, you can get a little bit of damage, temporary, but damage to your lawn. So you want to get everything under control now. This is the time of year. Lots of rain, beautiful weather. We're not worried about droughts. This is the time to put out your pre-emergent, stop the weeds. Number three, if you have any weeds or weed problems, treat those. And number four, once you start to get a good amount of green all over the place, probably go ahead and start looking at aeration if you haven't done aeration. All right, so I just wanted to give you a real quick peek at my lawn. And you can see that again, this is mid-April, excuse me, late April. And I've got a lot of green in my lawn. I've got some areas that are super, super thick in here. As an example, this is this is sort of a, because of the way the pool is built, the, it, the ground comes down like this and then comes back up on this hill. So this area gets a lot of moisture and it gets a lot of nutrients. The ground is just beautiful in here. And that's what I want to replicate back over in here where it's a little bit weaker. But look at this, look at this Bermuda. Look at that right there. Now that is a gorgeous picture, my friends. That is simply gorgeous. Again, this is April 24th. Look at that lawn. That is just gorgeous. This is a great time of the year. This is a great time of the year to walk around and look for weak spots in your lawn and sort of understand your lawn. Like I said, a big problem that a lot of us have 
is what's under subterrain we can't see what's going on and why do I have these weak spots this is a good time to identify that and I've got an older video about using plugs to fill in some of these weak spots but I'm also going to do some extra coring on these and backfill them with a special material I'm going to do another video on that too but here's that little area of Poana and I wanted to show you this this is really just this one little strip for some reason Obviously, I'm not a good I'm not good at putting pre-emergent out because I missed a spot right in here. Now again, two years ago, this entire lawn was covered in Poana. Covered in it. But I want you to see that while the Poana, while the Poana is dead, the Bermuda around it is perfectly fine because I used the right chemical on see these oh, look at my lawn look at this can you tell we had a massive rain look at those look at those lines on it but you can see that this lawn over here is a lot weaker like this is a lot weaker over here <clears throat> and that's because of this construction debris that we had I'm keep finding I'll take a rod and stick a rod down here and clunk hit rocks and bricks under here so I'm gonna show you how to deal with that Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here. I'm going to target these weak spots. I'm going to core eight core aerate them by hand I have a little tool. I'm going to show you and then we're going to backfill them with a certain mix And that'll really help these weak spots in here because my goal is To have a gorgeous lawn Like this all the way everywhere have everything look this green and the only way to really do that is to pick out these hot spots again here's another little hot spot this bugged me last year in here and you can tell the Bermuda is a little bit weaker here it's not as thick as right next to it see a difference so I'm gonna go back in here and retreat this I'm also gonna double double aerate this section in here and backfill a little bit with some special material I'll show you so anyways by the way this is the second time I've shot this video because the first time I had dogs going poo, going pee, <laughs> chasing lizards. <laughs> These dogs are just being idiots. She's gonna get in trouble, watch her. Linda, what are you doing? Don't do stupid stuff. Don't do stupid stuff. <laughs> when you get rid of your kids, you get new kids. They're called dogs. So again, guys, I just want to do a real quick video, talk about those four main points I want you to do now on your Bermuda grass. Um, look to watch the bermuda calendar and again i got a bunch of videos coming out like that aerator i got to shoot that probably tomorrow i'll be shooting that aeration video um where i'm renting it i'm renting it on a weekend so i've been helping out my neighbor with her lawn and uh i figure if i have enough energy left i'll actually go aerate her lawn too so i'm gonna try and shoot that one those are the main points guys jump on it get on it talk to you later Doc. Yeah.